All right, so if you're migrating to use screen from another platform like YouTube or maybe Vimeo, you might have hundreds of videos, potentially thousands as I've seen from some customers, and you're trying to figure out how to get them into Uscreen and you don't have local copies of those on a hard disk somewhere. So there's a handy tool out there called YouTube-DL that allows you to mass download the videos from these channels. And then once they're on your local drive, you can upload them into Uscreen. Um, even though it's called YouTube DL, it actually supports hundreds of sites. So just Google YouTube DL supported sites and you'll see a full list there. We're going to do this with YouTube. So I'm going to show you how to get up and running here. Uh, a quick Google search for YouTube DL. Uh, you're going to see some other tutorial videos, which, which can be great. And some of them are pretty long there. We'll try to keep this focused around you screen. Um, but for our purposes, we'll go to YouTube dash DL dot org. Once we're there, we're going to click download instructions. And there's a, there's a handy exe file for Windows that I can download. There is a package here that might not be installed on your computer. So if you're having trouble running this, you might just have to install that. For Mac users and Linux users, you do need Python. Um, you can click on that. There's a, there's a handy download um, link there for that, and then you can install it. And then for Mac and Linux users, there's a command line prompt here to download this file. But for me, for Windows, um, I'm going to go to my Downloads folder. And did I download that? Let's click it again. There we go. OK, so I have the, the file here. I'm going to actually copy this, Control-C. And then let's go to my C drive, just to keep things simple here. And I'm going to create a new folder. You can call this whatever you like. I'm just going to call it YouTube. And then I'm going to paste in this exe file. Uh, you'll note that I actually don't need to run this and install it. Um, if you did run it, just don't worry. It's probably just going to open and close really quick. But it, it's actually not installing on your computer. When you're done with this, you can simply delete it. OK, so what we need to do now, we need to open command prompt. And then what we need to do, we need to actually get into the same folder that I've placed this YouTube DL exe file in. So it's in my C drive and then YouTube. When most people open command prompt, they're going to be in some sort of users folder. So you just need to navigate out of there and then into the YouTube folder. So the command here is CD dot dot. CD is for change directory. Dot dot just makes it go up one level. So now I'm in C users. If I go one more time, I'll be right in my C drive. And then we know that's where the YouTube folder is. So I can go CD space YouTube. And I'm in. Now, the command to use this tool is, as you guessed, YouTube-DL. It's going to throw an error because it's actually looking for a URL that I want to download from. So to do that, we're going to go to our YouTube channel here. I'm just going to grab that link. And then we're going to type in the same thing again. And then paste it in. Uh, Control-V, Command-V might not always work depending on your <laughs> version of your operating system. I just had to right click and it appeared. So you'll have to test out a few different ways to do that. But we'll press enter. And then the whole reason of this new folder and keeping things kind of separate here outside of your downloads folder is the videos all start downloading here. So it's nice to keep them nice and organized in a separate folder. Um, it's, it can be pretty quick. It can be a little slow depending on your internet speed. I have really quick internet. So you can see it's downloading these files very quickly. Um, but that's enough for now. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. So typically what you would do now, once this is done, you would go back into Uscreen and you can simply drag and drop these files over. Now, if you're, if you've got hundreds or potentially thousands, I would, I would recommend doing this in batches. Um, test out 25 at a time, test out 50. I definitely wouldn't do hundreds, um, at a time, but, um, I mean, you're saving a lot of time by not having to download these one by one from your video, your other platform. So um, you just have to take your time with the upload part here. So while it is uploading, you do need to keep this tab open, but you can open a second tab and go to Uscreen. And then you can still navigate around. You can click on customization. You can work on your site uh, while these are uploading. Uh, note that oftentimes people's upload speed is a lot slower than their download speed. So just because it took you a certain amount of time to download, it could take exponentially more <laughs> to upload. Okay, so I want to walk you through a couple of the really cool functionality, like the extra options here 
in the documentation. So it looks pretty complex here and it, it can get pretty complicated, but for our purposes, one of the really cool options we'll add, I'm gonna go to this thumbnail section and there's an option here for write thumbnail. So let's test this out. So YouTube-DL, we know that part. And then we can type in write, oh, we need dash dash, dash dash write thumbnail. And then again, we paste in the URL. So now we've added this additional command. And you can add a couple of these if you investigate kind of what these are all about. Um, so what's gonna happen here, and I go back to my folder. One thing, it's gonna actually skip over the videos that I've already downloaded, which is great. It knows they're there. And then what's gonna do is it's actually downloading the YouTube thumbnail that I might have spent a lot of time on, and I wanna make sure that I can upload into Uscreen. And so it's nicely all alphabetical. I got my thumbnail, video, thumbnail, video, and so on. So now let's uh, go back into Uscreen. My two videos are here. Obviously for all videos you upload, you have to edit them. You gotta add them to a subscription plan, things like that. Um, one thing you'll note, it grabbed that YouTube video URL ID and put that in there with .mp4. So we would just remove that from all our videos. And then additionally, under appearance, it's really nice. I can actually just grab this thumbnail that it downloaded really nicely for me and replace the ones that are here. So that's some of the really cool stuff that you can do with the YouTube DL. Uh, one thing I would note, I mean, this is a pretty advanced um, set of customizations and workarounds here that you're doing. Um, for the most part, you're on your own for troubleshooting with this. Our support team isn't really gonna be able to help too much. I've tried to make a pretty decent video on getting you started, but there's a lot of troubleshooting that you might have to do with your own computer, kind of figuring out some of the extra options and why command prompt acts a certain way that it does. Um, but you're gonna save a lot of time instead of having to download these videos one at a time. So it's good to maybe invest just a little bit of that back into the troubleshooting aspect of this. In the end, it'll ultimately be worth it once you, you know, it's just you're flying with the downloads and you're not having to download them one at a time. So that's it for this video. Hopefully uh, we've saved uh, quite a few of you a good amount of time.